Hi friends, this is EL6503 Cell Phone Technologies Unit 4. Myself Dr. M. R. Gadvi and I will be taking care of your Unit 4. In Cell Phone Technologies, we will be basically understand how cell phone is working. I think since the entire last decade was the rolled by cell phone and their subordinate devices. The earlier version of a cell phone you might be remembering the word pager. It was a kind of a device which is going to be part of your communication faster and wireless in lieu of cell phone and immediate after the pager the cell phone was came to market and it has changed the entire scenario not only of the society but of the business world and the society and the peripheral part of the society so we will be learning how exactly cell phone technology is adopted by the cell phone and how exactly cell phone is working so in principle basically it is a well known by wireless as the earlier version of telephonic device was a, a landline wired telephone but cell phone is a wireless radio so basically it is known as a wireless was the original word for the radio wireless telegraphy basically the mean of the wireless radio and this term was widely used in the early of the 20th century after all a cell phone are basically a sophisticated two-way radios so in a way more technically it is true that it is a radio technology but the only modification is it's a two-way radio is generally one way and one way is also the ends are fixed you can't speak or you can't pass your words through radio whereas in mobile it's a two-way radio okay so with over 800 million cell phone sold in the 2005 so you can say that the 21st century and the major development was underlined by the cell phone and the peripheral devices of the cell phone and if you look at here the cell phone transmission is increases more cell phone applications are possible and this includes camera internet access email access audio gaming and video and many more and what not nowadays the screen touch mobile become the very interesting candidate of the society too in this chapter we will be learning the cell phone technologies our objective of this chapter will be the operational part of a cell phone name of the three most common second generation digital cell phone system the cell phone terms is appeared then naturally we do have the three following generations what we have seen or what we have be a part of the society that is 2g 2.5g it's a very intermediate very small phase of the time it has come to the market 
so 2g 3g is well known but in between 2g and 3g there is a for the sake of let us say one or two month there was a generation which is a 2.5 now what it does what does mean of this generation when a mobile has upgrading so they have given the name like a 2g 3g 4g and so on and i think the news might be read by you and that is the 5g is about to place in the market it is just a a few months story and 5g few of us can see in the market block diagram of the 2.5 and 3g digital cell phone and later on benefits and the applications of the 3g and so on uh, then we have to also see that the explain the application and the benefits location based on the technologies in the cell phone and describes the architectural of a operation of a cell phone with the base station now the cellular cellular telephone system is basically a cellular radio system truly speaking it should say rather than a telephone it is a radio but the telephone is a more well known word for the common society and therefore cellular telephone system is also well known uh, part of the cell phone technologies okay a cellular radio system provides standard telephone services by two way radio at a remote location mane cell phone se hum two way communication two way radio with a two different location <coughs> cellular te telephone permit users to link up with the standard telephone system with permits the calls to at any part of the world the very first cell phone technology was developed by the bell telephone company especially its division is known as AT&T AT&T was the one of the key member during the beginning part of the cell phone technology that is the later 90s uh and uh, 2 uh, 219 and so on uh, 2019 and so on but i i mean uh, i mean uh, 1990s uh, the AT&T was a part of the indian uh, society cellular uh, telephone system but later on it is taken off by some other companies anyway so uh, the beginning of the this radio system was main focus with the army and their development and to make it more stable by the uh, us government uh, but uh, it was begin during the 1970s so almost 50 years old technology so the technology develop and upgrade with the fantastic development and so on the original us cell phone system known as the advanced mobile phone system amps was based on the analog radio technologies and that is ampf that is advanced mobile phone system advanced mobile phone system amps and has a gradually been phased out and replaced by a second generation 2G and the third generation digital phone so uh, basically as it is said originally the cell phone uh, system is known as the advanced mobile phone system amps ke taraf se naam se wo jana jata tha but later on it was known as a cell phone and why it is uh commonly uh, referred by a cell phone that we will be looking in the next slide 
but let me repeat again here AMPS has gradually been phased out and replaced by the second generation 2G and the third generation that is 3G digital cell phone. So 2G uh, cell phone system was like with a button and 3G is come up with the touch screen mobile and so on. Okay, so in the next point uh, that is a cellular concept. So what did it mean by this? So if you do remember the cell structure of an uh, animal or uh, a plant you have seen in your uh, 11th or 12th standard or maybe in the 12th, uh, 10th standard and uh, this cellular concept is basically this concept is behind the cellular radio system is a rather than uh, serving and given a geographic area with the sing single transmitter and receiver and system devices and services area into many small areas known as a cell. So any working area is divided into a small region and that small region is known as a cell for that radio system or radio telephone system and that is how the word cell is come into the picture. A typical cell covers only a few several square mile. So, usse jada to koi ek tower ki radius nahi ho sakti. Aap soch lo ke aapke ghar ke aas pas mobile ka koi tower hai, to bada sa khampa khada kar diya. And that tower having a certain transmission radius. Usme se jo signal bahar nikal rahe hai, to uski strength jaise jaise signal aage badhenge, it become weaker. So, uh, beneath the, the tower, there is a, a certain mile region of the uh, area where the tower is in capacity to transmit the signals and that region is known as a cell okay so with this much clarity let's move ahead so itna samad liya ki ek tower se uske ek agar main circle draw karu uske aas paas ke wahan tak uska radius signal ja raha hai wo uh, disha tak uh, uska wo limit tak uska signal ja raha hai then it would be a that region is referred as a cell so higher tower uh, to agar agar ye tower ki baat aa rahi hai so tire is also depend a certain I mean certain parameters is depends on the transmitting and the receiving tower and let us uh, underline those higher tower gives broader coverage jaysay itna bada sa height of a antenna liya aapne so naturally the spreading region will be much much larger and this cell site is designated to reliable serve only persons and vehicle in its a small cell area. Each cell is connected by a telephone lines and the microwave radio relay link to master control center known as mobile telephone switching office MTSO mobile telephone switching office this mtso wo bahut sare cell ke koi ek cell mein ye mtso bhi hoga so aapko main next figure dikha do so that would be bahut sare cell aise bane to bahut sare cell mein se ek cell ko maine head of quarter bana diya ya to main uh, transmitting uh, or receiving device bana uh, cell bana diya and this cell is basically uh, through which you are controlling the whole adjoining or the cell in your near and vicinity and that is called MTSO mobile telephone system office mobile telephone system office sorry switching office mobile telephone switching office okay so this MTSO will take a very interesting and very key job in the entire telephonic or cell telephone uh, telephonic technology in this case uh, 
as a person will move within uh, any particular region, uh, the system is automatically switches from a uh, one cell to the next cell. मान लो कि आप travel कर रहे हो और travel यहाँ से शुरू किया और यहाँ तक पहुँचे तो आप एक दो तीन चार पाँच छः छः cell को cross करके वहाँ पे पहुँच सकते हो When you reach to the another corner of the entire region, so naturally once यहाँ से आपकी car drive करते करते next cell में पहुँची सो so, यहाँ ये ये सेंटर ऑफ द सेल से यहाँ का सेंटर ऑफ द सेल आपको दूर पड़ेगा सो नेचरली दिस सिग्नल एसोसिएटेड टू दिस सेल इज बिकम वीकर एंड द एसोसिएट सिग्नल रिलेटेड टू दिस वेर यू आर प्रेजेंटली नाउ सो दैट रीजन बिकम स्ट्रोंगर एंड देयर फोर द एम टी एस ओ विल टेक अ जॉब फ्रॉम ट्रांसफरिंग द कंट्रोल ऑफ दिस सेल टू दिस सेल okay a cell a to cell b and that is how they are controlling or that is what the job of mtso and that's why they it's written here as the person will move the system is automatically switches from a one cell to the next and especially the receiver in each cell uh, station continuously so receiver is in each cell station continuously so mane ek hi jagah pe receive to हो रहा है सो so, ये अभी हमने ऑलरेडी ग्राफ देख ली फिगर देख ली सो इन एक्चुअल सेंस अगर आप देखा जाओ तो हेक्सागोन पैटर्न इज नॉट पॉसिबल तो ये हेक्सागोन हनी स्ट्रक्चर आपने बना दिया सो so, वह हैनी कॉम स्ट्रक्चर से वो मेरे ख्याल से सेल फोन ऐसा क्योंकि ये जो हेक्सागोन पैटर्न है इट लुक्स लाइक अ सेल तो उसको ही सेल बोलते हैं इवन इन द मोबाइल टेक्नोलॉजी बट ये हनी कॉम सेल इज अंडरस्टैंडिंग द टोटल रेडिया डेवलपमेंट ऑफ द सेल्स ओके सो नाउ इन एक्चुअल सेंस अगर यहाँ पे आपका टावर है तो द रेडिएशन विल बी इन द इट 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 स्प्रेडिंग इन द स्पेस स्फेरिकली एंड देर फोर द the larger uh, sky view uh, of the particular uh, all the uh, adjacent cells then it looks like this now some circle circles are larger and some circles are uh, smaller but still it's a darker so the the shading of this all cells are basically shows the population of the uh, society Uh, during this particular uh, tower or a cell and uh, naturally this cell uh, is uh, some are smaller but still it's a darker that means this is highly populated and very per per square uh, meter you might be having a more than 10 people and so on so it become much strong dark color and whereas here you having a very very uh, less population so it is a gray shades okay so or oh, in principle uh, in theory theoretical it it doesn't looks like a honeycomb setup but it looks like a circle okay so the next one is a frequency allocations i think we will take the next lecture as a frequency allocation so right now i'm stopping here thank you so much for focusing uh, in the cell phone technology uh, still i am taking a one point which i missed sorry Uh, uh there is a one word is well known that is a hand off hand off and hand off word that means that means uh when a, a user is moving from a one cell to the another cell as i said uh the the weaker cell is transfers is uh, linking to the stronger cell and that job is done by mts so that is mobile telephone switching office and that switching office will does this job so your mobile is always connecting to a stronger signal strength cell and that is uh, situation is known as a hand off okay so with this i am stopping here frequency allocation i will taking in the next lecture thank you so much for paying attention